Well, well, well. First time you've played Millwall in about a decade. You travelled a short distance across London, South London, to the Den to take on Millwall in the FA Cup. If you haven't seen the game, then uh, you're going to have to come back after you've seen it. Obviously, I've spoiled the score for you if you're watching the screen. If you're not, then um, I will be putting spoilers in the in this. So um, remember to watch the game first, watch the highlights, and then come back and listen to what I have to say about it. Well, first of all, Patrick Vieira said he was going to put out the strongest squad for this game. And it was a pretty strong squad. I have to say it was a pretty good squad. He had uh, Jack Butland was in goal um, in place of Gaeta. Mitchell Gahey, Anderson and Ward at the back, the familiar back four we've got now this season. Schlupp, Hughes and Gallagher in the middle, which was good to see Hughes and Gallagher together again. Eze, Mateta and Alessi up front. Great to see Eze up front and Alessi in the same match. And uh, together with Mateta, who I think has been playing all right this season. He's been getting better, I think, each game. So that was the squad that went out against Millwall. Uh, just a quick look at Millwall's team. Long at the back. <laughs> long at the back. Uh, Hutchison, Pierce, Cooper in defence. McNamara, Mitchell, Saville and Malone in the midfield. And Ojo and Afobi up front. Uh, sorry, up uh, sort of just behind the, um, the striker of Bradshaw. And first half... First off, we didn't really, I don't think, get into the um, get into the game that much. We, you know, it's a very open game. The whole game is quite open, and um, you know, we we were we were trying our best, I think, to get forward. But Millwall kind of had the measure of us in the first half. They were pressing really hard, which, as I've said before this season, is one of the things that really does get to us. If if a team presses really high up pitch, it puts us off our game, stops us passing. And it, it does disrupt our play quite a lot. And that's what Millwall were doing in the first half. They were pushing really high up, chasing down the goals, chasing down the ball as soon as it left the goalkeeper, all that kind of thing. And um, the first half, we didn't really get into our stride at all. It was um, it was a little bit disappointing first half. I thought that we were going to be coming out of the blocks all, all guns blazing, but it was a bit disappointing the first half. We were, we were, we were trying. You could see that we were trying to put passes together, but they were going wayward and... Millwall were able to chase us down very effectively, in fact. And then on 18 minutes, we had a bit of a calamity when the um, ball was passed back to Butland, who tried, even though there was two uh, Millwall forwards gaining on him very quickly, tried to pass it between them and uh, unfortunately miskicked it. And uh, it went to a phobie who put it in the back of the net. It was a, it was a dreadful mistake by Butland. And, um, you know, obviously it wasn't anything he meant to do. He was trying to play the ball out, as you, as I'm sure he's been told. But in that situation, you just got to put your foot through it. You just got to put that into the into the crowd or get it anywhere away from the goal. You just can't faff about in that area. Of the goal, in, in that area. And I've said it before, it does make me nervous when they play it at the back so close to the opposing forwards. But... Uh, this was one of those situations where it just went horribly wrong, and um, you know I've I've, been, I've not been the, the best advocate of changing goalkeepers during the season, and I know that um, squad rotation that kind of stuff. But Jack Butland, you know, I'm sure he I'm sure he's as cut up about as anybody about about what happened. But um, anyway, that's what it was, and it, went, it ended up going into the first half one nil down, and not playing particularly well. But um, as has happened a number of times this season, we came out in the second half after the Patrick Vieira team talk at half time a lot better. We came out very, very focused. We came out in a much higher tempo. We were working really hard to uh, to get the ball. The ball was playing, being played well, you know, across the back four, and it was they were, we were managing to find space that we hadn't found in the first half, and it led to the first goal very soon after the first after the second half started when um Mateta passed the ball wide to Alessi who um managed to get it onto his favourite left foot his uh, his his golden foot I should say. <laughs> I think that foot should be insured for millions of pounds. But anyway, he put it onto his left foot and then managed to curve a wonderful ball, wonderful strike into the uh into the goal off the far post. Absolutely fantastic goal. One of the goals of the season's gotta be. Um, and that just shows you how 
how much of a quality player Alesi is. And, and and yes, you know, he hasn't been playing every game this season, but with Wilf out and uh, AU out at the African Nations, at the African Cup of Nations, then I'm sure that um, we're going to be seeing more of Alesi and probably even Ezzy up front this season, certainly until they come back, which would be fantastic to see. And then it was... Um, we were still on top. We were still playing really well. We were passing it around. We were getting getting to the ball first. We, you know, we looked a lot better in the second half. We came out a lot, um, a lot stronger. And then just uh, ten or so minutes later, it was Lacey again. But this time, well, actually, I should say, just after the goal, Lacey had a very similar chance that hit the post. But this time, instead of going in, he actually went out, which was uh, almost carbon copy of his goal. But it just just clipped the post and went out, which is such a shame because that would have been a fantastic goal. Again, but 10 minutes or so later, uh, Alessi again on that right side uh, managed to work his way closer into the box, put in a lovely cross and Matete got his head onto the end of it, sending it into the back of the net to make it 2-1 to us and uh, his obligatory kick on the uh, kick on the corner flag to celebrate. It was fantastic to see. It was, you know, it was a well-worked goal. Matete, I think, has been... In, you know, he's been he's kind of really been improving the last few games, and I don't know whether that's because he's, he's you know he might be moving and he's trying to impress Seville or something like that. I don't know, but he's he's certainly looked a bit a lot sharper, should we say, in, uh, in the last few games that he's played, which has been uh, great for us, of course. And and that kind of it went on for, from there. We we carried on making a few chances. Obviously, Millwall had their chances as well. We had some very close shaves at times but I thought overall our defending especially at set pieces was a lot better than it has been this season we were we were getting to the ball first we were clearing our lines we, you know we were doing we were doing better a lot better at clearing um, set pieces than we have been early on in the season and uh, and then we did make a few changes um, Ezi Mateta and Alessi at one point all went off um, Riederwald, Benteke and Osson, Osson Edward came on and um, didn't really have much to do, but certainly came on to give us a bit more of fresh legs in, in, in the game and to hold up the ball a bit more. At least Benteke, that, I think that's what he was brought on to do, although he didn't really do a great deal. Klein came on and uh, Milivarovic came on. I was I was a bit worried when he came on, but uh, they came on for Schluck and Hughes. Um, I was a bit worried when uh, Milivarovic came on because he has been known to give away a few fouls this season. And uh, I was worried that he might give away one in the penalty area or something like that. But he managed to keep it together and um, it ended up at the full-time 2-1. And it was a very good second half from us and certainly a very good performance from Alesi. There was, unfortunately, some rather nasty comments and bottles thrown at Alesi, amongst other things, from the, uh, from the home fans, which I'm not going to talk about because they don't deserve to get that kind of press or that kind of mention, but it was disappointing, and hopefully that will be dealt with by Millwall and the uh, FA, indeed. But that's it. That was it for the game. It was um, it was a good game, and I hope that uh, if you did watch it, that you enjoyed it. If you were there, I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments what you think about the game, whether you feel that we were deserving of the win. I, I think we deserved the win. I, you know, I, I don't think Millwall... You know, they had their chances, but if it hadn't been for Jack Butlin's mistake you know we would have finished that 2-0 and it would have been uh, a done deal but let me know what you think in the comments and everywhere else where you're listening to this and uh, thank you for joining me until the next time bye bye